There were many unknowns surrounding Elvis Presley's death. Months of lawsuits, drama, and mystery around the inheritance of Elvis's estate and the issues within the Presley family have finally come to an end. Elvis Presley's granddaughter, Riley Keough, is now the proud owner of Graceland. But what led to this big decision? Today, we will dive into the story as Elvis Presley's granddaughter, Riley Keough, confirms what we thought all along. Riley's connection to Graceland. The legendary king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, passed away many years before his granddaughter, Riley Keough, was born. Even though Riley never had the chance to meet her iconic grandfather, her connection to him and Graceland is undeniably strong. Picture Riley, her mother, Lisa Marie Presley, and their family spending Thanksgiving at the famed estate, sharing laughter, creating memories, and enjoying the historic ambiance. While Elvis Presley is a household name recognized globally, not many people are aware of the life and legacy of Riley Keough, the heiress to his empire. Before we dive into the fascinating revelations made by Riley herself, let's take a journey through her story and understand more about Graceland's newest guardian. In 1989, the world got its first glimpse of a young Riley Keough gracing the cover of People magazine. Her mother, Lisa Marie Presley, who was only 21 at the time, looked absolutely radiant and full of joy as she held her newborn daughter. This cover was significant because Riley was Elvis Presley's first grandchild, a momentous occasion in the Presley family. The magazine shelled out a staggering $300,000 for those exclusive first photos, which were snapped by photographer Cesare Bonazza. Amazingly, the entire photo shoot took just 10 minutes. This moment echoed history in a charming way as Lisa Marie also had adorable baby photos taken with her parents, Elvis and Priscilla Presley. Riley Keough's mother, Lisa Marie Presley, was the only daughter of the legendary Elvis Presley and Priscilla Presley. Riley's father, Danny Keough, is a musician. Despite their fame and busy lives, Riley shared an incredibly close bond with her mother, a bond that remained strong until Lisa Marie's passing in 2023. Growing up, Riley was surrounded by love and care, and despite having such famous parents, her childhood memories are filled with warmth and affection. Lisa and Danny first met in 1985, and after three years of dating, they tied the knot in 1988. Shortly thereafter, Riley came into the world, bringing even more joy to the family. However, their marriage faced its share of challenges, and unfortunately, Lisa and Danny's union ended in divorce in 1994, just two years after the birth of their son, Benjamin. Despite the end of their marriage, Lisa and Danny maintained a strong friendship and remained dedicated co-parents. They ensured that their children felt loved and supported, splitting their time between homes in California, Hawaii, and Florida. This dedication provided Riley and her brother Benjamin with a stable and nurturing environment, despite the complexities of their family dynamics. So, while the world knows Elvis Presley as the king of rock and roll, few are aware of the life and legacy of his granddaughter, Riley Keough. Her story is one of love, family, and an unbreakable connection to the iconic Graceland estate. Before we explore the intriguing details shared by Riley, it's essential to understand the foundation of her life and her unique place in the Presley legacy. Turbulent Childhood As the years went by, Lisa Marie Presley found herself in several high-profile relationships. One of the most notable was her brief marriage to Michael Jackson. What do you say to yourself when you look at that period in your life? Um... Holy Mother of God. <laughs> During which Riley Keough had the unique experience of spending time at the famous Neverland Ranch. Later, in her fourth marriage to musician Michael Lockwood. So even Keough, and he's really calm, and he talks, you know, to people, he cares, he takes care of everything. I've just never seen anyone like Lisa Marie welcomed twin daughters, 
Harper Vivian Ann Lockwood, and Finley Aaron Love Lockwood. I don't know what to do with myself if I'm not, if I'm not a mom. These names were rich with family significance. Ann was taken from Lisa Marie's mother, Priscilla's middle name. Aaron, from her father, Elvis's middle name. And Love, from Lisa Marie's grandmother, Gladys Presley. In a 2023 interview, Riley opened up about her unconventional childhood, shaped by her mother's numerous relationships. From an outsider's viewpoint, it might have seemed chaotic, but for Riley, it was simply her normal. She recalled it as being filled with love and family, even though it appeared extreme. Those experiences, though intense, were her everyday reality. Riley made her red carpet debut in 2002, attending the premiere of Lilo and Stitch, hand in hand with her mom. This event marked the beginning of many public appearances, including notable events like Elle's Women in Hollywood and Fashion Week. However, despite being born into fame, Lisa Marie was determined for Riley to carve out her own path away from Hollywood's glaring spotlight. She wanted Riley to have the opportunity to discover her own passions without the pressure of her family's celebrity status. Lisa Marie emphasized the importance of this on Oprah in 2007, discussing her desire for her children to pursue their own dreams. Riley reminisces about her mom's efforts to shield her from the Hollywood frenzy, allowing her to grow up like any other kid. Gossip magazines were kept out of sight until Riley was 15, fostering a sense of normalcy and appreciation for her mother's protective instincts. As Riley grew, she discovered her artistic inclinations, much like her renowned family. While one might assume she would follow her mother and grandfather into the music industry, Riley's heart was set on acting. She explored modeling and began making films with friends, eventually leaving high school to pursue her acting career. Lisa Marie supported this bold decision, understanding her daughter's eagerness. Riley later acknowledged that dropping out might not have been the wisest choice, but her determination led to quick opportunities, including landing her first audition. It was the first time in my life I'd ever taken a sh shot of whiskey <laughs> yeah. before an audition. <laughs> Although her full name is Danielle Riley Keough, she has always been known professionally as Riley. She adopted this name when she launched her acting career, debuting as Marie Curry in the 2010 film, The Runaways. This decision marked the beginning of her journey in the entertainment world, allowing her to step into the spotlight with a name that felt truly her own, the family name. When Riley fully immersed herself in acting, her mother offered her some serious advice. She cautioned Riley that she would need to put in extra effort to be taken seriously, especially with a famous last name like Presley. However, being part of the Presley family turned out to be a significant advantage for Riley. She later acknowledged that it had been a major help, considering that most people who move to LA take forever to find an agent, whereas she secured one in just a week. Looking back on her teenage years, Riley gives much credit to her mom. During a 2022 interview, she expressed, my mom is a huge inspiration to me. I grew up watching her do her own thing not caring what others thought. She's definitely someone I admire. Following her debut in The Runaways, Riley went on to feature in various films, including the thriller The Good Doctor and the eerie Jack and Diane. She then landed a minor role in Magic Mike in 2012, directed by Steven Soderbergh. In the film, she portrayed Nora, a dancer romantically involved with a football star turned dancer named Adam played by Alex Pettifer. Off screen, Riley and the British actor became close, and they even made their relationship public in October 2011, shortly after wrapping up the movie. Just six months later, in March 2012, Riley was spotted wearing a ring on her finger. Speculations arose, suggesting they might be engaged, but neither of them confirmed it. However, they never tied the knot, and in 2013, 
they decided to part ways. Reflecting on their relationship, Pettifer mentioned in 2018 on the Sirius XM show, Radio Andy, she was the first woman I ever fell in love with at first sight. Secrets of her career. When Riley stepped into the role of the captivating pop star Daisy Jones in Daisy Jones and the Six, she made a surprising confession. She revealed that she wasn't much of a singer before landing the part. At a special event for the Amazon Prime series, she shared that she even had a moment where she felt like she blacked out during one of the meetings. She joked about how she had to fib a little and pretend she could sing during auditions. And get this, she hadn't even read the book by Taylor Jenkins Reid that the whole series is based on before she got the part. Before Daisy Jones, Riley wasn't known for her singing, but she had her share of music-related gigs. One of them was in 2013 for Justin Timberlake's song TKO, where she played his character's furious ex-girlfriend. And would you believe it? Back in 2005, she even appeared in one of her mom's music videos for the song Idiot. So she might not have started as a singer, but she sure had a knack for being in the music scene. Private Life Unbeknownst to many, Riley has actually been married to stuntman Ben Smith Peterson since 2015. Despite being part of a famous family, Riley keeps her private life. Well, private. But she does have some pretty famous friends, like Dakota Johnson and Kristen Stewart. At her wedding in 2015, both Dakota Johnson and Kristen Stewart had special roles. Dakota read a poem during the ceremony while Kristen served as one of Riley's bridesmaids. But life hasn't always been easy for Riley and her family. In 2020, they faced a devastating loss when Riley's brother, Benjamin, passed away. He had been struggling with mental health issues and tragically took his own life. It was a heartbreaking time for Riley, her mom, Lisa Marie, and the whole family. To honor her brother's memory, Riley decided to get a tattoo. It's a beautiful tribute, a delicate script of Benjamin's first and middle names inked on her collarbone. It's a way for her to keep his spirit close. After Benjamin's death, Riley moved in with her mom for a while. Lisa needed her daughter's support, and Riley was there for her as much as she could be. Even after she moved back out, Riley made sure to spend time with her mom, regularly visiting her two or three times a week. Lisa wanted her there all the time, but Riley balanced her own life with being there for her grieving family. Then, just when they were starting to heal, tragedy struck again. In January 2023, Lisa Marie passed away suddenly. It was a shock to everyone, especially since they had seen her just a few days before. Her death left a void in their hearts that can never be filled. Despite the sudden loss, Riley cherishes the memories she shared with her mom. She was truly special. Riley fondly recalled, Mom had this incredible strength, love, and loyalty. She was like a lioness, fierce yet loving, and the best mom anyone could ask for. Their last Sunday together holds a special place in Riley's heart. They celebrated Elvis's birthday at Formosa Cafe, capturing a precious moment in a photo snapped by Riley's friend, Georgie Flores. Even after Lisa Marie's passing, Riley honored her at a memorial service at Graceland. Although she couldn't bring herself to speak, her husband, Ben Smith Peterson, delivered a heartfelt tribute on her behalf. I'm eternally grateful to have spent 33 years with you. I'm certain I chose the best mother for me in this world. Thank you for showing me love is the only thing that matters in this life. I hope I can love my daughter the way you loved me, the way you loved my brother and my sisters. Ben expressed on stage, I'm a product of your heart. I hope you finally know how loved you were here. Thank you for trying so hard for us. He concluded, if I didn't tell you every day, thank you. Legal Battles Over Graceland Following Riley's mother's passing, she and her sisters learned they were set to inherit their grandfather Elvis's Graceland estate. However, 
A dispute arose between Riley's grandmother, Priscilla, and Riley regarding who should oversee it all. Looking back, when Elvis, the king of rock and roll, passed away in 1977 at only 42, his daughter Lisa Marie was just nine years old. Alongside Elvis's father, Vernon Presley, and grandmother, Minnie Mae Presley, Lisa was slated to inherit Graceland. But due to Lisa's young age, her mother Priscilla took charge. Priscilla did an exceptional job of transforming Graceland into a renowned destination that attracted many visitors. When Lisa turned 25, Graceland became solely hers, as both her grandparents had passed away by then. In 2016, Lisa made revisions to her will, removing her mother, Priscilla, and her former manager, Barry Siegel, as co-trustees. Instead, she appointed her daughter, Riley, and her son, Benjamin, as trustees. This included oversight of Graceland and a portion of Elvis Presley Enterprises. However, tragedy struck when Benjamin passed away in 2020. This meant that Riley, who was 33 at the time, became the sole overseer of her mother's estate. A few weeks after Lisa passed away, Priscilla wasn't too happy about that 2016 change. She said she didn't even know about it. She also pointed out that the signature on the change didn't match Lisa's, and someone had even misspelled Priscilla's name in the papers. Riley and Priscilla's lawyers went back and forth for months until they finally worked things out in May 2023. They made a deal, and by August, Riley was officially the main person in charge of her mom's estate, including trusts for her twin sisters, Harper and Finley. Priscilla got to take care of a trust for her son, Navarone Garibaldi. As part of the deal, Riley agreed to pay Priscilla $1 million and cover $400,000 in legal fees. Plus, Priscilla could pick up her stuff from Graceland whenever she wanted. After everything was sorted out, Priscilla spoke up. She said, My family has cleared up all the confusion about what happened after my daughter Lisa passed away. She made it clear that they weren't suing her granddaughter, despite what some media said. Riley's lawyer told the media that she was very happy with how things turned out. Then, a few days after Riley officially became the main person in charge of her mom's estate, Reports came out saying she talked about life after her mom's passing. She even talked about her relationship with her grandmother, Priscilla Presley. Riley described how her family felt overwhelmed and disoriented when her mom passed away. It was like their whole world was turned upside down, with confusion and uncertainty everywhere. They were all trying to figure out how to move forward, but it was hard because the situation was complex and there were a lot of details to grasp. She emphasized that while they are a close-knit family, there's also a significant business aspect to their family dynamic. So they needed to clarify things and find a way to balance their personal and business affairs. It was the legal agreement that settled a disagreement between her and Priscilla about Lisa Marie's will, which included Graceland, the estate Lisa got from Elvis, Despite never meeting her grandfather, Riley found it deeply touching to see Austin Butler portray him in the movie Elvis. She revealed in an interview that she was overcome with emotion, crying within the first five minutes and throughout. Riley explained that there's been a lot of family and generational trauma stemming from that time, and she felt grateful that the filmmakers put in so much effort to capture his essence authentically. She expressed trust in director Baz Luhrmann's vision for the film, but also emphasized the importance of being protective of her family when it comes to their portrayal in the media. Riley Keough's relationship with her grandmother, Priscilla Presley, has always been a source of joy and happiness. She emphasized that despite any disruptions, their bond remains strong, and things are gradually returning to normal. Riley praised Priscilla for her significant role in preserving her grandfather's legacy at Graceland, noting that it is a deeply meaningful task for her. She expressed sadness over negative portrayals of Priscilla in the media, emphasizing her grandmother's dedication to cherishing and protecting Graceland 
and the Presley family's heritage. Riley sees Priscilla simply as her loving grandmother, highlighting the strong bond they share. Riley clarified that reports suggesting Priscilla would not be buried at Graceland were inaccurate, stating, I can't imagine her not resting at Graceland. She noted that Graceland holds beautiful memories for her, especially since many family members, including her grandfather, mother, and brother Benjamin, are laid to rest there. Despite experiencing heartbreak, Riley has found a different outlook on life. While the loss of her brother left her feeling lost and overwhelmed, she found that focusing on her career played a significant role in her healing journey. In January 2024, Riley revealed her involvement in preparing her mother's autobiography for publication, scheduled for release on October 15, 2024. She expressed gratitude for the opportunity to share her mother's true self with the world, beyond being known as Elvis's daughter. Through her unwavering commitment to preserving her family's legacy, Riley shows a deep sense of responsibility and reverence for her heritage. By preparing Lisa's autobiography for publication, she ensures that her mother's true essence and legacy are accurately captured and shared with future generations. Riley's profound connection with her family and her dedication to preserving their legacy serve as a testament to her strength, resilience, and unwavering love for her family.